where is that AI learning that? From us, right? The program. Yeah, but I don't like to start with the program. That's so that, I mean. and and we're programming that into them because I feel like they would see that the, like those. Maybe, those maybe they would. If, but if we're back. saying that, yeah. But if we're saying that, how does it necessarily hold it back? If it creates, if an if an AI is smart enough to create to create, perhaps like solve all our problems potentially, which is usually the things like that, creating new ways to new ways to produce energy, to produce food, and then things like this, and. and essentially creates a post scarcity civilization right we don't we don't have to we don't have to worry about resources we don't have to worry about money we don't have to worry about those things it just creates those things but how does that fit into like a, a capitalistic fucking world? it wouldn't it would say that this system yeah, right? it, like that would cause so many problems people and then all of a sudden we're in conflict and war and it's like well what do we have to we got to come back to making these decisions right but the and then how do we fucking how do we stifle these fucking bastards what are we gonna right do? but the ai would see those things that's the thing it's like it would have to it would have to solve those problems but it, in the in, in tandem it is solving all of those problems like whether it would be like creating yeah, some type of things like that. Out. Well, I don't think it would be that. <laughs> well, and, and, and to be honest, well, and, and like the, you know, the truth of the matter is, is like for humans to organize and do anything is a fucking painful process. Painful, right? Fucking large groups of humans, small, yeah. like hundred, hundred people or less. It's not bad. I, st I, I that, still yeah. wish I, I want to see if anybody has a theory about the exponential, like, rise in stupidity of a large like the bigger a group gets it seems like the dumber the people get like progressive well it does especially, especially <laughs> like now well especially group. now if you think where things are going mm -hmm. like we have all human information at our fingertips i personally know nothing absolutely fucking nothing right you know, like, very small sliver of what there i is know very know. small sliver but at the at, at the touch of my finger i know everything everything any humans ever known right but i know nothing like it's crazy. Well, you know, you know what any human has written about. Yeah, but and, and, then, a, and then it's up to you to find out what the actual. But oh, here's my. But you my, know what? That that's interesting. You say that because the fact that we're talking about AI and certain types of AI, like what we Brad mentioned in the title, because you know, how are we going to be able to differentiate what was made by that Chat G, uh, GPT eventually and humans? We might not. Right. It will. Yeah. I mean, that's where it seems to be going. Like that's scary. Yeah. Well, it's starting like they're starting to like create art, right? And like deep fakes, like there there's AI generated like they're they're fucking deep faking people and having, you know, they've there's Joe Rogan podcasts that they've used Joe Rogan's voice and made a Joe Rogan podcast that's not it's never existed. It was just created by AI. Right, like yeah. reading the and transcripts, it's, it's, and it will fool ninety nine percent of people. Like yeah. it's so good. So, yeah, I mean, well, and like what? Oh, go ahead. Dan. Oh no, just like the everybody says like Chat GPT. So uh, just so everybody knows what we're talking about, even though we've mentioned it already, it's it's Chat GPT is is uh, there's an acronym for Chat Generative Pre Trained Transformer. It's essentially like a really advanced chat bot. Google. Like not even Google. Yeah. It's like is a chat. A, bot. Is it a Decepticon though, or is it an Autobot? That's what I, I haven't it's seen it's at this point. It doesn't. Have, they haven't. He yeah, hasn't put big. the stamp on yet. I guess you okay. could change it if he wants to. I mean, but like this, this like let's get into Chat GPT <laughs> for a second here. How long has this thing been out? It's January thirty. It's November. It's November thirtieth. It came out to the public. Yeah, and uh, it's it's fucking it's it, it, it's you. It's almost hard to get on because it already has the max amount of users on the site, and. It, this thing has fucking changed in five five months or whatever it's been out. It's changed the landscape of two like months. it's been two months. College colleges and universities are fucking scrambling because people are getting this Chat GPT to write fully formed essays on essay topics. Right. Right. And I'd so imagine the more it does this stuff, the smarter it gets. The right. Better like the better out it there, gets. There, it, there are certain flaws in it. Like so far, like people have noticed that whatever. Like uh, the, the most re one of the most recent articles is that it took like one or two like actual bar tests, like you know the the bar in law for law school and stuff like this. And um, lots of tests. Yeah. And they were saying that essentially it it does it does well um, on the it does better on the essay portions than it does on the multiple choice because Chat GPT can't like process like facts. And it's also not good with word problems. Like it's not good with wor wor word problems or math, especially um, for now. For now, 
Yeah, well, um, we haven't yeah. really like, b- before. Sorry, Dan, I was going to cut in real b- before you go because we haven't we haven't really said what chat what it is. It's pretty much a way to make a AI converse in a like a human dialogue way. It's a chatbot, right? Like a big. It's a, it's a but it, it's a human. It's a human like chatbot. And their quote is. We've trained a model, a model called Chat GPT, which interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. So it's thinking. By analyzing all this stuff, it's thinking in real time. You ask it a question. Honestly, it's you ask it a question or tell it to do something, uh, like dialogue or like written wise, and it just does it, and it does it <laughs> crazily well. You know, it's like for me, what is so terrifying about this is the fact that like we don't even we don't know where human consciousness comes from. We don't know how it's developed. We have no idea. Right. We know that infants, when they're starting to seem you know, somewhat aware of their surroundings and interacting, they start throwing out words and they see how we react to words. And they're like, oh, that's a good word. That's that mom. That's dad. That's this. And then they'd learn from there and then it expands. And then suddenly you have this conscious being who's laughing and joking and talking like we like, this is fucking crazy. This is what we're doing. Like, we're, yes, this one might be a little bit a, rudimentary, it's but it's going to, yeah, for now, yeah. it's a digital months. infant for now. And again, biology moves slowly. Technology moves fast. Yeah. Like how fucking, how fast is this thing going to learn yeah. and months. get smarter? Like, Fuck. Two There's, months and then and Dan well now Dan was just talking about like taking the bar test and taking metal exams. So you ask it the questions on the bar test and it answers at, at what percent was it, Dan? It's uh, it's not it's not good, great. but it's they not s- terrible. They said essentially it's passing. They said it's like C plus grade material. Like it's it's That's barely passing. Impressive. Hey, C's get degrees, bud. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking done. I, I listen, I fucking step up and write the bar tomorrow. Am I pulling a C plus out of my ass? Probably not. Well, they okay. well they had to put it against a random. So if you just go randomly take multiple choice test, twenty five percent is an average. Just like just by randomly guessing, because it's just yeah. scale and scale at numbers like about twenty five percent. This thing's getting like yeah. fifty five, sixty, sixty five percent. But ACDC on there's on some uh, on more like written stuff. Like if you ask it like to summarize. Uh, the start of World War Two in essay format, it will summarize it based on the and it it writes it just. It writes it well, like seventy five like a B B minus, they say. Like pretty like an average, just above average student. In real and it writes it right away. Like you push it, you ask the question, and it goes and out it just pops it out. It's insane. Well, and tech, fucked. And tech, fucked. tech companies are scrambling too, because like I I read this one article on uh, dig.com a while ago, and it was it was talking about Google's debt. Uh, and it showed it was showing Google prompts of like even simple tasks was of like how to cook mashed potatoes. And then it would just Google would pop up like some, you know, some yeah, like whatever answers and then a bunch of links. Whereas chat GPT like was like a step-by-step well-written, like easy to follow with pictures and times and like just told you how to do it. This is it. Yeah. Like, long it as just, I don't have to told... read the entire life story of the person who made it and it's just the ingredients, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, I, I, would, I would prefer chat the... GPT's answer over oh, a Google, fuck. Google novel of somebody like, you know how many this is how my great grandmother <laughs> used to make mashed potatoes. Yeah. Scroll through nine pages of fucking chat before you get to the oh, recipe. Like, God. Damn. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. Does ChatGPT include that in for authenticity? Do they include like a, a fictional, <laughs> fictional backstory of how to how where they got the potatoes, like the farmers who grew but, them? But here, here's the thing: like, it, dude, this thing is going to disrupt. Like, it is in its infancy right now. But like, my prediction for some of the fucking where I can see this really because it can analyze text, it analyzes information. Right, and it can write a, a, a B, you know, a B plus or better like analysis. Well, if you look at the Canadian legal system, the Canadian legal system is based on precedent, right? And it, so basically, it's going these factors, this case, this outcome, right? And then similarities. So, like, you can use this thing to write yourself a sentencing argument. Right, be like if you're a prosecutor, you could be like Chat GPT. Um, can you analyze you know, these set of facts for an assault, and what should be the sentencing argument? 
and uh, uh, based on precedent. Yeah, funny you should mention right? that because in the UK, a tech company already tried to integrate that into the courtroom. Like they had. That's, that's... Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.